what's up guys welcome to another episode of basil a quick one today i will be showing you um two skills every gospel bass player should know okay so these skills can help you to spice up your playing whenever you're playing to any genre of music genres of music it will help you spice your playing up if you're a beginner it will help you sound more advanced now these two skills are very very important on our day-to-day jamming now these skills are the major pentatonic skill and the minor pentatonic skill so that's it the major and the minor pentatonic scale so you need to know them you need to know them and you need to know each different fingering or different positioning on the bass guitar now i'm going to show you based on the key i made use of on that song now the key i made use of on that song is d d major okay so that was the key i made use of now the looking at the major pentatonic scale is almost the same thing as your d major scale yeah d major scale now when you play your d major scale your d major scale is one two three four five six seven one right which is your do re mi fa so la ti do do ti fa so fa mi re do now when you play the d pentatonic d major pentatonic don't forget the two scales um, I want to show you. D major pentatonic, that's the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic scale. That's what we are talking about. So, D major pentatonic scale, now it can be played anywhere on any key of your choice. So, to achieve the D major pentatonic, when you take away the 4 and the 7, that has become your D major pentatonic. Okay, so this is it. One okay you can go that way you can go this way so one two three five six one major pentatonic scale and minor pentatonic scale they are both five note scale okay so whichever way you're you're playing it is just five note scale. So that's it. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, so which is my do re mi so la do? That is it. That's the D major pentatonic scale. Now the D minor pentatonic scale will start from the sixth note of your D major scale. To achieve the minor pentatonic scale, you will start from the sixth note of your your major pentatonic scale. So this is it. This is my six and this is my six. So I can go this way for the minor pentatonic scale. If you notice, they are both related. Okay, so they are both related. This is my root and this is my six. So if you want to play, achieve the major pentatonic, start from the root. If you want to achieve the minor pentatonic, scale, start it from the six note. That's it. You can go this way. So that's it. So if you want to look at it in scale degree, since this is my one and this is my six, so you're playing for the minor pentatonic scale, you're playing six, one, two, three, five, six. So guys, these are the scales, okay? Now let's move into the song, what I did. The first pentatonic scale I made use of on the song is major D major pentatonic scale. Why the second one is um b minor pentatonic scale now the key of the song is d and the progression started from the four chord you are good four then you go to your one then you go to your five then you go to your six then you go back to your four okay and like that one Then one, five, one. Okay, 
so that's it. Which in Tony Sofa is you are fine is for do so You know, guys, I told you whenever you want to achieve a song, first thing you should look out for is the key of that song because that is the pillar, that is the foundation. After you've gotten the key of the song, then you look out for the progression of the song. That's it. And you've gotten the progression. Now you can start spicing up. Okay? So the first movement I made use of there is the pentatonic scale, D major pentatonic leading me to my four chord. That was what I did there. Okay? So I started from... <laughs> Leading me to my four chord. These scales are most commonly used scales. Okay, so you need to know them. That was what I did. D major pentatonic leading me to my four chord. Kind of sequence the notes, four note sequencing. That was what I was doing there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Then I kick off. Okay, landing on my four chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This thing beautifies your playing. You can start applying those techniques. Those techniques. Like the slurring or sustain note. Okay. You know, things like that. Finish playing this key. Adding the passing note to my four chord. That was it. pentatonic scale I make use of there was B minor pentatonic scale okay that was the B minor pentatonic scale there from the B minor pentatonic scale I started from the five notes so I did something like this I was I used this phrase on, on all the move okay so it now left for you. After you've known the scales, start spicing them up with some techniques, some little techniques, okay? You can some dynamics there. Okay? Those things add colors to your movement. When you start uh, putting those little techniques. So that was what I did there. So going into my sixth chord progression, I did this. Back to my four. Because whenever you hear, you are good, you are good, always go into your four. You're always landing on your four. Because your four is the first chord progression on that song. That's it. What I did there was to start on the five to play that phrase. What I did there is what I did here. What I did here. So I follow the shape of the B minor pentatonic. So I, I was kind of adding some extra notes. Okay. Picking them to five, one, six, then two, five, three. Then I drop down again. Five, one, six. So what I did here is exactly what I ended the movement with here. Five one six, five one six, five one six. So my my focus is I'm going somewhere. And where am I going? I'm going to my six chord progression. That is it. That was what I used that movement to achieve. Okay. So do la re sa mi. So do la was what I did. So do la re so mi so do la. So you play.
play the main minor pentatonic, B minor pentatonic going, leading you to the four chord again. Okay? So the movement started from the five. So you can see the kind of hammer on thing there. That was what I did. Anywhere you can achieve the pentatonic scale, either the minor or the major pentatonic scale, you can achieve it anywhere on the fretboard. Okay, so that's it, guys. Hope you love this. Hope this is helpful. If you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. You can afford to miss new video. I upload every week. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified, so that you will see, you will easily see my videos. Okay. Also, if you need private lessons from me, every information is right there on the screen. Or right there in the description below you can send me an email or chat me by whatsapp indicating you want to join the private lesson it's going to be a live zoom section okay so we will see each other and talk more on the bass guitar on music generally okay so send me an email and um, I look forward to seeing you I will see you in my next video one love bye